guys, welcome back. Today I am going to show you some things that I've bought. This is a haul video. I haven't done one of these in quite a while. I have a dog staring at me. <laughs> He's staring at me like this. <laughs> you need to lay down. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable having it. It's, you know what, it's, it's uncomfortable having someone stare at you, like a human being stare at you while you're filming, but then when a dog does it, and they look at you like this. I'm gonna do my best to ignore that dog. Anyway, most of you know that I have recently gotten my hair cut. I'm struggling with it. I'm still not quite sure if I like it, but it is what it is, right? So, at the advice of some people, and some of you, and some people in real life, it was recommended to me that I try one of these brushes. This is a pain in the arse. This brush, I, you know what, I guess I just need to master the art of the big roller brush because as of right now, it is a massive fail for me. I got my hair tangled in this thing twice. I don't know if I'm gonna be using that again. Next up, I got, I have purchased, I got, I have purchased quite a few eyeshadow palettes uh, two of which I have taken apart and depotted and put in various other palettes. Let's start with those, shall we? I'm going to insert a picture right now of the two palettes that I purchased. And because I did not like the color combinations in those palettes, I mean, I really did not. I should have left the part in where I used those palettes, but the colors and the consistency are wonderful, as always. But the combination in those palettes, I just did not feel like the eyeshadows went together. Um, I tried, I didn't like it, so I took them apart. Those eyeshadows are now in three different palettes. Some of them are in here, some of them are in here, and then some are in the other palette I have with the frost eyeshadows. I only had two that broke apart which are these two right here. These are from the Romance or whatever the heck, Roses, I can't remember the name of it. Those two are the only ones that I had issues with, but I pressed them back together and they work just fine. So anyway, I got those two palettes and then this popped up on my Instagram. You know how the evil internet knows what you're looking for and they will throw in ads on your Instagram. I don't like that the internet keeps tabs on what I'm searching for. Like I bought an air fryer and then all of a sudden like, you know, air fryer ads were popping up on, you know, Beautylish and uh, what else was I looking at? You know, different searches of things that I was looking for. Ads would pop up for stuff like that or like KitchenAid mixers and I was just like, I don't like this at all. Apparently this is what's known as cookies. I don't like it. Anyhow. Instagram knows that I look at eyeshadow palettes and I must have at one time gone to this website Although I don't think so. I've gone to hush, you know hush Got a hold of me and asked me to pick out five items and I did and they never sent it to me So you guys suck. I won't be ordering from hush But hip dot popped up on my Instagram feed and so I clicked on it looked at some of the eyeshadow palettes and decided to go with these two. These were in a little bundle. It was $22 or $23 for both of these eyeshadow palettes. And this one, I've only used this one once. Nothing wrong with it. I really like it. But this one I really like a lot. And I actually find myself reaching for this palette quite a bit. This is the Tease Me palette from Beauty Creations. This is what it looks like. Cute little packaging, whatever. I don't really care too much about packaging. It's got a mirror in it, which I don't care about the mirror because I don't use them, but these colors are gorgeous. And whoever chose these color combinations, that's all I'm gonna say, or not say. Anyway, here they are. Look at how pretty, right? This one, super nice. That one too. I really like this whole palette. This is natural light. That's a diva light. <laughs> I've got the window over here and I've got my ring light over here because it's kind of gloomy outside. Anyway, pigmentation, beautiful. Colors, beautiful. I feel like someone who's new to makeup could buy this palette and come up with any kind of look, even if you didn't know how to combine colors. I mean, this would be so easy to use. The next one here is the Glitz Glam Eyeshadow Palette from Beauty Glazed. 
This is a cute little palette. It comes with some pressed glitters. Take a look at that. And these are all mattes. Very nice. I really like this palette a lot. I've, used, I've only used this one once and I've only used, I used three of the colors in here. But I really like it. I am going to use the glitters eventually. I just haven't been in sort of, okay, that's a lie. I have been in a glittery type mood, but there have been other glitters that I've wanted to try. Speaking of glitters, this is another glitter. Stila, I think I talked about this before, but I haven't officially like put it in a haul video because I haven't done a haul video in forever. Smoldering Satin, beautiful, beautiful. I really like it a lot. This was in my 17 of 17. Not this one in particular, but Steel and Magnificent Metals. This color is gorgeous. Uh, I really don't want to put it on my hand because glitter, but we'll do it anyway. Oh, take a look. Take a look. There we go. Now, like I've said before, there can be some fall down with these, but whatever. Don't mind those. That's what happens when you get old. Of course, I don't really care about that stuff. I'm not the kind of person to freak out over some massive freckles on my hands. I'm not gonna like run to the dermatologist and be like, give me all the bleach. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little bit of advice. Don't you hate it when you got pieces of hair that stick in your collar like that? So if you apply it directly from the little sponge thingy to your eyelid, you won't have as much fall down, but you will have a lot of bling on your eyelid, okay? But if you just want a little bit of blinginess and you apply it with a brush, and I would apply it, well, I gotta wash it, but I would apply with a synthetic brush, not a natural bristle, not, not a natural hair brush, bristle brush. Holy cow, I'm having difficulties today. I feel like if you, if you go ahead and apply it with a brush, you will have more fall down than if you just apply it directly to your eyelid. But uh, even though I do like some glitter and I do like some shine, um, I feel like applying it directly from the little applicator thing, it's a lot because I've done it. I actually did it yesterday and it was like, wow. I was really sparkling, but I hardly had any fall down. It didn't mean that I didn't, but I didn't have quite as much. Moving on. This is another eyeshadow palette that I bought that I really, really like a lot. And so I ordered this before Christmas. There's a lot of hairspray in these bangs. I ordered this before Christmas, right? It wasn't a Christmas gift, obviously. I was ordering it for myself, but I figured that I would at least have had it before Christmas, which would have made me very happy. Did not happen. I received this five or six days after. It was an expected delivery date, okay? But it's like five to six days after the expected delivery date. That was a lot, so whatever. I ended up getting it. I actually went on PayPal because I thought the package was missing. I thought somebody stole it. I went on PayPal. Because Pinky Rose, if a package is lost, they won't replace it. They won't give you your money back. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to try anyway and see what happens. So I got it. This is what it looks like. It is the Rustic Rose Palette. I like the back. It says, be creative. This palette is beautiful. I really like the colors a lot. I've already used it quite a few times. Take a look. So from back here, it's, it's really pretty, right? Let's take a close-up look here. Natural light. Diva ring light. Somewhere in between. For this one I use quite a bit. These shades here. I just really think... I think it's a really pretty palette. And these are only like $26. That's cheap, I think. I mean... Yeah. $26. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, those Sydney Grace palettes that I bought, those were $15 a piece. Now they're $20. Uh-oh. But I don't think that this is bad. $26 for this. And I do feel like this is one of those palettes where you can do like summertime looks, winter, whatever the case may be. If you're into these types of shades like I am, you may want to check this out. Now I have not used, I swatched them. I haven't used any of these shimmer shades along the bottom here. They are pretty, I just have not used them. I just, like these shades here, this is this whole row, this whole middle roll right here is just, what do, what, do, what do people say? It's everything. I live for that row. 
All right, so this I'm very excited about. It. I've been wanting this for a long time. Don't know why I didn't do it. I just finally did it. It makes me very happy because because this is like, oh, I have this pinch in my neck. Oh, it hurts. Anyway, what am I going on about? It is the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. It is the Youth Boosting, Youth Boosting Perfecting Skin Foundation. For perfect looking skin that is protected, instantly eliminated, and feels smoother and more hydrated, enriched with a botanical alternative to retinol and ceramides. This is worth every penny. Every penny. If you have dry skin, you should try this. If you have normal to dry skin, you should try this. If you're oily, you may not want to try this. My friend Vanda said she didn't like it, but she's oily. So maybe it's not meant for oily skin. I have four fair. Did a little bit of research trying to figure out what color to get because you can't buy Charlotte Tilbury around here. There's not a whole lot that you can buy around here as far as like high end goes. Actually, that's a lie. I just don't want to drive. So anyhow, but no one sells Charlotte Tilbury around here. This is something you have to order online. I'm in a really rambly, talkative mood. I hope you guys don't mind. All right. Light Wonder is amazing. This makes my skin look just like my skin, just a little more evened out, even toned. But you can still see, like, I have some freckles a little bit. Not much. Actually, they're barely there, okay? But when I'm not wearing anything, if you're up close to my face, you can kind of sort of see that I have a little bit of discoloration. I don't have sunspots on my face, although I don't know what this is up here. Perhaps that is a sunspot. I don't know. But freckles, like real freckles, freckles that I've had since I was a little kid. You know, in the summertime, if I don't wear enough SPF, they, they poof, right? So even in the winter here, it's really nice outside, by the way. I just want to let you guys know it's like 65 degrees outside. Anyway, this just evens everything out. Now, the lighting in the bathroom at work is terrible. It can make a 20-year-old look like, you know, they're my age, which is 45. So anytime I look in that light, I'm just like, ugh, looks so bad. The, the lighting, the actual light itself, the way that it's, the way that is in the ceiling, it's just horrible. But the other day I went to work, I was washing my hands, I looked up in the mirror and I was expecting to see an old hag, but instead I saw somebody with beautiful skin. It was from this. This is right now my new favorite. It is worth every petty. <laughs> I was reading shake before use and it made me all of a sudden want to start shaking it. I don't need to shake it. But anyway, this is hands down right now at the moment my favorite foundation. I will show you quickly my other favorite foundations, okay? Very quickly. MAC Studio Waterweight. It's a light, probably light to medium. Leaves sort of a satiny slash dewy finish, but not overly dewy where you look oily. Guerlain Lingerie de Peau. Amazing. I always get compliments on my skin when I wear this. The only thing is they don't have a lot of uh, color. Their color range is like crap, right? But I have a yellowish undertone. This is more pinky. It still works on me. I really, really like it a lot. I would have to say like these two are probably my favorite. And then uh, MAC Face and Body. This will always be a favorite of mine. This will always be in my collection. I'll never be without Face and Body. Um, I was without it for a long time and then I finally purchased it again and I could like smack myself for waiting as long as I did because this is another one of those where it's just enough to even your skin tone up. Now you can't build, I've heard people say, oh you can build face and body up to like a medium to full coverage. No you can't, okay? I worked for MAC. All it looks like is that you have a ton of foundation on but it's not going to do any it's not going to do your skin any justice. Let's just put it that way. This is meant to wear lightly, all right? You can put some layers on, but I'm telling you, if you try to build this up, you're just going to look like you're walking around with a ton of foundation on. But I like this in the summertime because it's waterproof. It stays put. It photographs well. It's just an amazing foundation. Love it. Yeah, I said love it. I never say that because, um, I don't know, some of you may remember this. I know Shelly will. Years ago, I had uh, made it a point to say that I find it ridiculous when YouTubers say they love this and they love that because it's just an object. You don't love it. You just really, really like it. Well, you know. So that's why every once in a while when I say I love something, the first thing that pops in my head is that video. But anyhow, this is my new favorite. It is amazing. If you can afford it, do it. If you have skin like mine, do it. If you like a lighter look to your face, if you don't need heavy coverage, do it. 
and then when you do it let me know because i know you're gonna love it these two are a huge huge fail this is the second time with natasha denona and i'm done after this i probably won't ever order natasha denona again uh the crystal top coats these are horrible i don't understand how anyone could like these I'm almost convinced that people just say they like these because it's Natasha Denona. Unless I'm stupid and I don't know how to use product, okay? But I figured, I, I have top coats, okay? They refer to them as top coats because they're supposed to be complementary to, let's say, another eyeshadow. So let's say you put an, a powder eyeshadow on and you want to add just a little bit of, like, shine or whatever. These are meant to go over the top of their eyeshadows to add a little something extra. Or you can wear it by itself on your eyelid just to add a little bit of, you know, shine or shimmer, which is fine. And I really like that, and that's what appealed. But when I tried to use it, it's not as easy as all that. So I think what I'm going to do is I just switched the camera this way, so I got the window behind me. Something's happening with the lighting. I think it's getting darker. I think it's going to rain, actually. So, all right, so this is what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll film a video, right, a get ready with me. In the meantime, if any of you own these, please tell me how you're using them. Please tell me why you like them. Because, I mean, I have experience with makeup. Worked in makeup for a long time. I've done makeup for weddings and homecomings and things like that. Typically, I don't have an issue with makeup. But these, they just, they seem crappy to me. I don't know. Like, I really was struggling the other day trying to get it to look decent on my eyelid. If you own these... Please tell me how you're making them work because it's just not working for me. And then two non-makeup related things that I wanted to share. Most of you probably know I don't wear perfume. My camera just shut off on me. All right, so these next two items are non-makeup related items. Most of you know that I don't wear perfume, but I still like to smell good, you know. Most of the time I like to smell like fresh laundry. Like that's a, the biggest compliment for me is if I walk by somebody or like when I'm at work, sometimes my patients will say, oh, you smell good. You smell like your clothes just came out of the laundry. Like that's a compliment to me. I love that. So most of you know that I use those downy beads in the fresh scent, the little green ones. It's my favorite. But the other day I wanted to try something different. So I got these. This is the Downy Infusions Amber Blossom. And that's what it looks like. And then I also got the dryer sheets. I always rip the top off because isn't it a pain trying to get your hand under there? So anyway, these, these smell really good. They're definitely more perfumey than the Downy Fresh beads. What are these called? The scent boosters. They look like little beads, so I always say bead. Uh, but I washed my clothes in that the other day, and I'm reserving this just for my clothes because it is a little bit more perfumey. I don't think that... The men in my life want to walk around smelling like this. But I used this the other day. I wore a hoodie to work on Sunday, and I got a compliment. Somebody was like, wow, you smell really good. And normally, people in the ER or like people that work there, they always talk about how I smell like fresh clothes, like clean clothes. Well, one of the girls was like, are you wearing perfume, or is that a, di <laughs> is that a different... Um, you know, washing detergent or one of those boosters. And I was like, yeah, it's, it's a different downy bead, a different booster. And, um, but to me, that's like a compliment. If somebody tells me that I smell good or I smell like fresh, clean clothes, like I love that. So, um, if you go to the store, you can squeeze the top and the scent comes out of the top. You can, you can give it a sniff. It's pretty good, but again, normally I use the downy, it says fresh on the bottom, they're green. That one is like my all-time favorite. That one definitely smells like nice, fresh, clean clothes. So, alrighty guys, that's it. I am gonna go. My eyeballs, because sometimes you guys ask, my eyes are the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. It is Ode for the dark color in the outer corner, and then Cashmere which has become a favorite of mine. Look how pretty. So it's this and this, and then lips are absolutely it. Lip liner, this is a Pro Longwear lip liner from MAC. And then my favorite uh, lipstick, it's called Baby's All Right. I don't know if you can still get this or not. I don't remember if this was part of a collection, but this is the one that I wear all the time. And I just discovered that absolutely it looks absolutely gorgeous with this lipstick. All right, I have to go. I feel like I've been talking a lot. Again, don't forget, if you have those top coats and you love it, please tell me why. 
please tell me how you're using it because maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. And that is it. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If there's a product that you think I would like, please leave that down below in the comment section. So thanks so much for being here. Have a great day and I will see you all again very soon. Bye.